Google now has access to every tweet in real time. So that means every tweet can be found in Google search results now, right? Wrong. In fact, a study we did at Stone Temple Consulting shows that while after Google started implementing their new firehose deal with Twitter, they also began indexing many more tweets, they aren't even coming close to getting all of them. In this episode of Here's Why with Mark and Eric, I'll have Stone Temple Consulting CEO Eric Enga share our study results and ask him why Google still isn't indexing all of Twitter. Eric, tell us about the study you conducted to see how much of Twitter is indexed by Google. Sure thing, Mark. First, to capture how much of a change Google's implementation of its Firehose access to tweets in real time brought, we'd need good before and after snapshots. Fortunately, we had captured a really good picture of Google's indexation of Twitter in February of 2015. At that time, we pulled data on over 133,000 tweets, then looked to see which of those uh, tweets were indexed by Google. We found that only just over 0.6% of tweets showed up in Google's search results within the first seven days and 7.2% within seven weeks. That means almost 93% of the tweets in our test never showed up in search. In addition, most of these took more than a week to get indexed. Then, in late May, Google announced that they were beginning to make use of their new deal with Twitter and start showing more tweets in the search results. So in June, we took a second snapshot. For a good comparison, we looked for the same data set of tweets in our June scan. This time, we found that 3.4% of the tweets were indexed within seven days, a whopping 466% increase over February. But of course, 3.4% is still a tiny minority of all the tweets. So now that Google has access to all of Twitter, why aren't they indexing 100% of the tweets? Great question. There are at least a couple of probable reasons. First, keep in mind that they're still in the very early days of this implementation. Google is probably testing a lot of things to see how to bring tweets into search in a way that's most useful to users. I expect that they will continue experimenting and that we will still see a lot of changes in the time ahead. Here at Stone Temple Consulting, we'll rerun this study periodically to track and report how Google's Twitter indexation changes over time. So if you want to be first to know about all those updates and all of our social media, SEO, and content marketing studies, sign up for our newsletter at the link on your screen. Now, Eric, you said you had a couple of possible reasons Google still isn't indexing all of Twitter. What's the other one? What we're seeing, Mark, is actually a good reminder that as huge as Google is, that they actually have very limited resources. Even though their computing and storage capacities are probably the largest ever known, they still have limitations. So they have to make decisions about how and for what to allocate those resources. And then think about Twitter. Every second, Twitter users create 6,000 tweets. That's 350,000 tweets per minute or 500 million tweets per day. So even Google's computing resources would quickly get overrun. So Google has to be selective, using algorithms that prioritize which tweets and Twitter users should get the most attention. In fact, in our study data, we find a strong correlation between the social authority of a Twitter profile and how likely its tweets were to show up in Google search. Higher authority profiles get indexed more, although I'm sure there's more to Google's criteria than just profile authority. Thanks, Eric. We hope you've enjoyed learning some of the why behind this quickly evolving search and social media story. You can see our other Here's Why videos on our Here's Why with Mark and Eric page at the link on your screen. Now on that page, you'll also find a link to our YouTube channel where you can subscribe to this video series so you'll never miss another episode of Here's Why. Thanks for watching.